you get down, I'm tryna pump with you Oh, that's your best friend, I'm tryna fuck her with you First met the bitch, they said it real sus I don't give a fuck if they were real sus Fuck around with me, tryna dodge bullets Serve a pack of chickens and a dodge heavy What's up, it's your girl Ro, and if you are tuned in with me right now, you are now officially my woe. So go ahead, do me a favor, and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And make sure you hit that bell too, so anytime that I post, you will be notified. Today I will be coming at y'all with a story time that I got. It's about the time that I just so happened to smash two sisters, not at the same time. And this shit was not my fault because I was minding my own damn business till they came bothering me. But yeah, y'all listen to the story and let me know, am I wrong? But shit, they need to be worried about the ones owing loyalty to each other because shit, they sisters. I was just a person that's there that's there for they need. <laughs> all right, so this is how it all started. Um, I was moving back to where I stay at now. And I was just had got out my relationship after like a year. And that was my last serious relationship. So uh, the sister had hit me up, the older sister who I talked to first, she had hit me up and she used to like leave stuff under my pictures and shit. So, you know, I'm eating that shit up and replying back. So I'm like, boom, I'm out my relationship. So I'm about to come back into town. So she like, all right, well, um, there go my phone number, you know what I'm saying? And me, when I get people phone numbers, um, I don't really call like that. I might shoot a text or something. I'm more of a texting person, like, but if I like you, I'd be on the phone. So in the beginning, you know what I'm saying? She used to like call me and I'm like, hello? Nah, I'm gonna call you back, you know, that type shit. But I shoot a text, you know what I'm saying? But I really wouldn't for that phone shit. So um, when I got back into town, I had hit up and then um, she came and seen me, right? So I'm talking about we was chilling for like a cool two, three months straight, uh, talking to her on the phone all day while she at work. I'm talking about some on my breaks while I'm at work, we talking, get off work. She coming over there spending the night with me and shit. I'm in the kitchen whipping it up, you know how I do in that thing, trying to get them. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Everything was sweet. It was cool. So, like, at times, she'd be like, let me see your phone. So, she wanted to uh, log on her social media through my phone when her phone dead on the charger or something like that. So, I'm like, all right, here you go, because I was single, so I, I really wasn't talking to nobody then, so I ain't care about her in my phone. So she had log in on her phone. So one morning, I'm at the bus stop, y'all. I'm just so happy going to the little internet browser and why her page popped up. Hmm, what should I do? Log it out or go be nosy? Been nosy than a motherfucker. I'm talking my son went on there. Come to find out she still was talking to her ex-girlfriend, her ex-boyfriend. She just had a little bit too much going on for me the whole time. She lying to me, acting like she don't fuck with nobody or nothing. Like, cause that shit had pissed me off. So I didn't call her at work like, what the fuck you got going on? You know what I'm talking about? She like, what is you talking about? Trying to deny the shit. I see the shit in my face. Lying. Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. Stop fucking lying. If somebody call you about some shit, just tell the truth. They already know the truth. If they ask you, they know the truth. Trust me. Just go ahead and quit fucking lying. So she steady lying. I'm like, fuck this shit. Hang up. All right, I ain't talked to her for like a day or two. And then she called me back like, oh, I apologize, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, it's cool. All you had to do is keep it real. I wouldn't have fucked with you like that, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? It be like that sometimes. And then uh, in the course of us chilling and shit, I'm going to rewind it. She used to come get me, and just one day, uh, she was taking me back to the crib, and her younger sister was in the back seat, but I really wasn't paying them motherfuckers no attention, 
until I come to think about it, when the little sister slid in my damn DM, she was like, well, you know I was looking at you ever since that night, but I ain't want to say nothing because uh, my sister was talking to you. These females do not have no loyalty, not even to their own family. These hoes ain't loyal. sister or smash her little sister shit i don't know that shit ain't none of my goddamn business but that's just to say some of these motherfuckers can be your own family and they will backdoor the fuck out of you and smile in your face and don't tell you shit but yeah i had to tell y'all about that story because listen here i have learned some people they could be your family they it still ain't no loyalty, so you got to be careful about the people that you bring around. That's why I don't really have too many people around me and my wife, because I, family or not, we go to family events and stuff, but at the end of the day, can't be trusting motherfuckers like that. If her sister backdoor her, how many more people out there doing that same shit? But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. I'm not the wrong one, just to let y'all know. And this was a little time back. I have changed since then. As you can tell, I am changed. I do not do shit like that no more. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And I do appreciate you. And I'll be back with another video real soon. Fuck the blood, nigga, I'm tryna take something Finish the mic, that can't say you rape something